Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. I'm Boss, I'm gonna be your host here today, and this is my co-host, or let's be honest, I'm the co-host, and this is the real host, Tails, our beautiful Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. So today, we're gonna be running through basically like micro miners, mini miners. All six devices in front of me are crypto mining rigs. You can, and these things are so just power efficient and quiet, you could literally sit them on your desk anywhere. Okay, I'm talking in your office, in your kitchen, in your bedroom, whatever. Most of these devices pull 100 watts or less, which if you don't know, your laptop or gaming PC can pull much more than that. They're very economical, but are they profitable? So today we're gonna to be looking at these from a hobbyist point of view, and then we're gonna review the cost of all these devices, which they range from like 50 bucks to several hundred dollars. We're gonna be examining the profitability of these crypto mining rigs, the coins that they mine, the ease of basically reaping your rewards, which is just like, are you mining these obscure cryptocurrencies that are hard to exchange? Or can you just mine straight into Bitcoin? And since Doge has been getting so much buzz lately, one of these devices can actually mine Dogecoin. And I'm not talking about Tails. Before we kick off this video, I wanna note something real quick, is that I've started mining into my BlockFi account and you're wondering why. Well, there's no limits on how many deposits you can make and I'm putting my crypto in automatically and then automatically generating interest, especially if these are coins I was already planning on holding. For example, they offer deposits, trading, and of course, interest on these coins for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and several other coins like stable coins, like earning 8.6% on USDC and GUSD. Those coins are pegged one-to-one -one with the dollar. As a full disclaimer, they have sponsored Voscoin for 2021, but we wouldn't have agreed to it if we didn't think they were offering a great service. You get $250 for free if you use our link in the video description below. We have video reviews on this miner, this miner, this miner, this miner, not that guy and not this one. We will be creating video video reviews for both of these two miners. When we look at these, you know, just to kind of just give you a little bit of a basis, this mines Litecoin, which is basically the, there's a lot, there's a couple different ways you can view it. It's a peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency. It's like the first bit, the first Bitcoin clone that really made it big, right? Some people try to market it as Litecoin is the silver to Bitcoin being the gold standard. Some people don't think that Litecoin is really needed or relevant anymore. The fact of the matter is that Litecoin has made it this far and it's unlikely to go away anytime soon. As evidence in the recent crypto market, uh, you know, in the uptick, you're pumped, right? And so I've spoken about Litecoin mining before and I haven't been thrilled with it, but what I am thrilled with is this device because the creator, Apollo, I mean, this is a basically more or less, as far as I understand, a one-man op out of the US and he's making like some of the, I mean, this is the nicest device we have on our table. And this thing can even operate as a full node. If you don't know what that is, this thing can basically, can literally mine the blockchain and run the blockchain and basically act as an all-inclusive device to mine Litecoin, store Litecoin, and decentralize the network in more ways than one. So it's just beautiful from a decentralized mining point of view, but it's a little bit more expensive because of that. And it's not the most profitable crypto mining rig on our table, but this video is not all about profitability. And when it comes to crypto mining from a hobbyist point of view, uh, you know, having more utility like that, it actually gives this thing a big edge, but starting to sound a little biased, I'll give you my thoughts and rankings on these at the end of the video. Some of these devices will need more tinkering than others. So for example, if you're looking, people keep asking me, especially lately, what should my first crypto mining rig be? Well, these are all pre-made pre-built ones that are basically FPGA or almost kind of like CPU miners, and then obviously ASIC mining rigs. If you're looking to get into crypto mining, and you have a gaming PC, download a miner, fire it up. We've got videos on that, like this one, how to earn passive income. And you know, I just show you the basics of nice hash and setting that up and so forth. Or you can build a GPU mining rig or a CPU mining rig. We have guides on this. These are more along the lines of you wanna buy it, plug and play, desktop miner, go anywhere. If that's what you're looking for, the Gold Shell HS1 and the HS1 plus are gonna be your best bet. 
Okay, we've reviewed both of these recently. They're very recent. And spoiler, these are two of the most profitable rigs on the table right now. And they're very easy to set up. They literally just use a laptop power supply to run. We have a small laptop power supply, and then we have a bigger laptop power supply for the bigger device. The HS1 Plus is quite literally just a bigger version. It does move to a, it's pretty tight, a six PCIe connection here. Tails, do not freak out. We're making a movie. You can't just run away when times get tough. Click, scare, Oh. <laughs> So these devices are still in stock. They're sh taking longer to ship because the crypto market's been a little crazy recently. We've got a link out for those in the video description below. These are the easiest crypto mining rigs you can buy right now. And there's more stock available to just plug it and go. But you may be looking for something to tinker with a little bit more. That is where Lee from iMineBlocks created the micro miner. And this thing is super cool. And this is along the lines of something I've just always wanted to do but a lot more time goes into creating something like this than you may believe so we have a full-blown review on this and this is basically this is this isn't a mining rig that's it's not profitable but it's not not profitable you're not going to make 20 bucks a day with something like this but you can support the networks you can learn linux cli command line interface and this can be <laughs> an incredible teaching tool if you or someone you know is like technical and they're looking to get more into the technical side, something like this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. You can go ahead and mess around with that, tinker with it. You even see this nice little heat sink on there. It's based out of being a Raspberry Pi, because it is one. Next, let's look at the Atom Miner. This thing, we have not created the review video on it yet. Uh, this is, I'm a little disappointed with this one, to be honest. It just kind of, it's a little bit cheaper than the other ones kind of across the board. For example, we look at these cables, they're short, and it's just its just a cheaper package, and this is actually the most expensive mining rig on the table, which I'm not thrilled about. The profitability, you know, it varies. Uh, last time I checked, it was about a quarter a day, but it it's nearly wattless nearly uses no electricity. So it's actually profitable, but your break even time will be years. But again, maybe you're looking for the tinker with it point of view. And we compare that to something like the micro miner. You know, I think these guys are in a similar category, but this thing is less than a hundred bucks. And it's pretty simple. The micro miner actually just comes in a little package like this with everything you need. Nice compact. Uh, so I have to give it over to the micro miner over the atom miner personally. Then let's talk about this guy. This is a hash altcoin miner, a black miner. They released a series of FPGA miners, which those basically mine short version, different coins than ASIC mining rigs and GPU mining rigs and whatever. It was decently profitable around the time it came out. Then there's a little resurgence in some prices. It had some good profitability then. Right now, it's not too profitable. I guess spoiler for like the, what I was gonna talk about at the end of the video is this thing is only making, I mean, it's basically treading water on all the coins that mine. It's kind of breaking even right now, or maybe, you know, 10, 20 cents a day. Again, this is more of just kind of like outdated. They haven't released new bit streams, which that's what's cool about this is this can mine different coins if FPGA mining algorithm developers create new bit streams for it to use. So it can mine different coins and additional coins in the future potentially. Unfortunately, if you buy one, you're waiting for those to happen and in the past they have, but in recent history they have not. So it's just kind of sitting there. I don't even plug it in to be honest. So let's talk about the gold shell miners a little bit more. If you're wondering about the profitability, these things are making more or less a dollar a day. And for a device that only costs a couple hundred bucks, I think that's cool. And again, these are hobbyist miners. You know, this is something, you know, you just want to experiment, get your feet wet, all of them really. And, uh, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, if you have a friend or a partner or a kid or even a parent that is either into cryptocurrency or wants to get more into cryptocurrency, you're just a nerd and likes all this cool tech stuff. These things may be a great place to start because as I show in our review videos, I mean, you pretty much just download a program, click, click, and it's off to the races. So that brings us to our final big guy, 
behemoth here. The future bit of power. This is the latest version they have, and they're already working on a new one. This thing is nice. I mean, it's, I mean, you look at it, it looks substantial. It feels substantial. It's just crazy. You know, we reviewed the previous model a little while ago, and it was really cool and impressive then. And I discussed that, you know, this mines the script mining algorithm. Okay, and, and I should have uh, actually clarified that. So this mine, this is basically CPU miner mines whatever you want that it can mine. This mines all of the mining algorithms supported by the Atom Miner, which are these. And the FPGA black, uh, hash altcoin black miner mines those black miner supported algorithms via the bit streams. And these only mine Handshake. It's the only coin on that algorithm. It's Blake 2B plus something. And uh, so that, I mean, you're only mining Handshake on there. And so again, this, the future bit is mining script, which is Litecoin's mining algorithm, which was originally like very exciting. A lot of people were GPU mining Litecoin years ago, making a killing. Uh, but now script is dominated by ASIC miner, these purpose-built machines, application specific integrated circuit. Uh, that's what that's what ASIC is. And then you have ASIC miners. So this is just basically a mini ASIC. So this is competing against big full size miners like these, which is why otherwise this could be potentially incredibly profitable. And with that increase, the recent increase in uh, Litecoin's price, the profit, profitability has obviously come up. Other notable coins for better and worse on the script mining algorithm, one would be Doge or Dogecoin, which you'll commonly see all the noobs talking about on TikTok and buying it on Robinhood. You know, you can't even withdraw your cryptocurrencies if you buy them on Robinhood. So it's safe to say you don't actually own any cryptocurrencies. Really weird system when it comes to all that stuff. Uh, but alas, another day, another video. The reason I love this device is because it's not only a miner, and it's made by someone out of the US, which, you know, a little patriotism bias, bias, bias right there, right? You know, it, this functions also as a full node. And if you don't know what that is, like that is so cool. This is a crypto miner and a wallet. This is a decentralizing, just piece of beautiful machinery in my palm, the palm of my hand. I mean, that's crazy. Uh, and if you're new to this stuff, you may not realize how crazy that is or how uncommon this is, I mean, there, there's nothing else that competes. There are like little Bitcoin nodes like uh, Casa and stuff like that, but none of them also function as miners. Like this literally mines coins and stores coins and can transact with the blockchain and everything. I'm telling you like this, this is beauty. This is beautiful, but unfortunately it's not, it's not really profitable. It's kind of treading water and I'm basing all these numbers on a residential electric rate. So again, you know, these things are so cool, but this is like a hobbyist point of view. And I just, I'm really trying to reiterate that. And some people will be like, oh, whatever, dude, why'd you make this video, man? You know, oh, I'm trying to get rich mining crypto. And I'm like, hey, Taylor, it's okay. <laughs> but you know, it's not all about money, man. These, these little devices, they're so fun and cool to experiment with. And I'm telling you, this one is done nice. I mean, just like brush metal um, casing around it. It's using PCIe ports, has an ethernet jack, USB port. You see additional heat sinks down here. I mean, it's high quality components. It's even serialized. It has a serial number, which I'm like, oh, dude, it has a serial number. My iPhone has that. Well, that's true. That thing also costs a thousand dollars, man. Uh, but the, the, you know, I bring that up because it's an external uh, serial number, which is honestly really cool, but this is a this is a big cost. Hey, Tails, don't be ditching me, we're almost done. Uh, this is an additional cost when it comes to production. Um, so spending more money, which, oh, well, it's also why this is one of the more expensive ones, right? Super cool stuff, my opinion. Um, I mean, and if you've got a GPU mining rig, actually in our original Apollo video, I just tacked a couple spare PCIe connections I had into this and then ran an ethernet port to it and it's off to the races. It, you can view this not only as like a standalone sit on your desk kind of miner, which, you know, that's a good point. I haven't even brought it up. The fact that this thing comes with its own power supply if you order it. And that's really cool. I mean, it's a branded power supply, two PCIe connections. I mean, this this is like the, the high end of these things. So very cool stuff. Uh, but again it's not something that you'll see a return on most likely when it comes to the mining revenue 
but this has more usability than just the mining revenue. The people that buy the Casa Bitcoin nodes, there's no return on that. You don't, you don't make money for running those. Just straight usability. This competes with that in the coolest way. So that kind of rounds out the review here and tells us, why are you looking so disturbed? <laughs> you know, we're gonna have a talk. <laughs> but in all seriousness, these things are so cool. And just from my nerdy point of view, I love all these devices to different, you know, variances. And to be honest, if I had the technical knowledge and the production capabilities, I would love to make something, you know, similar to the Gold Shell HS1 miners here or the Apollo, uh, you know, ASIC miner wallet combo, node combo here. I mean, these are so cool. And you know, hey, maybe one day, I always keep dreaming and pursuing crazy goals, right? Uh, so that's really my round out review. So, I mean, personally, if I was gonna recommend these, if you're looking for the cheapest one just to try out some stuff and it's gonna be pretty technical, definitely the Micro Miner. If you're looking for the most readily available, easy plug and play, and actually most profitable here on the table, it's gonna be the Gold Shell HS1 Miner, specifically the HS1 Plus, which is the bigger one, and it's a little bit nicer, and I always feel better using PCIe connections as opposed to laptop chargers. And when it comes to these two guys, they just, they mine these obscure coins that are honestly like almost even annoying to keep up with which you know it, how much you want to mess around you could enjoy that mining coins like log wood log coin or whatever uh, but as I progress through the years mining cryptocurrency year over year over year I get a little tired of chasing all those uh, I try not to cuss on a uh, camera but coins which is why I naturally gravitate towards these two guys so and you know one of the thing uh, it is pretty whatever but I want to make a note of it this has little standoffs that's so nice I mean look that's so cool these slide around and it's just little touches like that that just really set this thing off so yeah, anyway these these two three really more specifically these two are my personal favorites but you'll have fun from a hobbyist crypto mining point of view on any of these devices so we've got links out to everything in the video description below if you enjoyed the, uh, the video please hit the subscribe button my mic died but I haven't charged these in months, and honestly, I was pretty lucky. I, this is, I mean, to be honest, it, it was reckless to even do this. And uh, make sure to subscribe, please, the bonus coin. We're chasing a million subscribers, not even close. But with you subscribing, we're one step closer. I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Hey, 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 stay, stay, stay. We're shooting a movie. <laughs> you gotta stay. You're a good girl. It's okay, it's not gonna be that long. If you're gonna be the owner of bonus coin, I mean, you gotta show up in some videos sometimes. I mean, back in the day, you were, when we were doing this, we were starting up Boss Coin. I mean, you were in, ev like, well, actually, you skipped the beginning ones. But then you were in every video, and you're the reason it took off. I mean, you the star. I just work here. But after we, we, we made it big, you know, you've just been taking days off. You've been working with Ms. Vosk Alexa. And I mean, come on. Are you just gonna leave me out here? Just the, the little henchman? No, 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 no. You the star.